Okay, I'm going to go this back with the gaming update this time. Um, I haven't really been finding a lot, but I um, found some uh, interesting stuff anyway. So, we'll uh, start off with the uh, guides. Um, I think these are all for $2 each, so I couldn't pass them up for that. Um, got this Premier Edition uh, Animal Crossing City Folk Guide, so this is the uh, Wii game. So it's got uh, everything in here. Like your bug charts and all that kind of good stuff. That's good. Um, go on for Pokemon Crystal. And uh, Primo one. So it's just a uh, cheap one, but it's still half decent. And I got one of these, uh, I didn't know they did these, these are uh, four in one guides. So you've got uh, Luigi's Mansion, Super Smash Bros. Melee, uh, Wave Storm, uh, sorry, Wave Race, Blue Storm. And uh, Pikmin, so I thought things were interesting. Uh, that just has four four games in it. I don't think I'd seen those before. Good to pick that up. I've uh, got the one for Mario Party 4. So these are all in half decent condition anyway, so I was happy to pick them up. Uh, and this huge one for Fallout 3. How many pages is it? 447 pages, man. <laughs> yeah, so it's huge. All that three. Uh, covers all platforms. Mm. Alright. Um, then we've got uh, plug and play here, which I'm probably going to do a uh, kind of a review on on some of the games. Um, I can't seem to find a brand anywhere on it, so I don't know if it's just a no brand one or what's going on with that. But uh, the only thing that seems to come up is 25 mega games. So, yeah, keep a look out for that uh, review in the next four weeks, that'll be up. And then we'll get on to the games. Um, really haven't been finding much at all that's not ridiculously overpriced or just uh, the same sports games you see in <laughs> every week, so yeah, I haven't been finding too much, but I actually did find a Super Nintendo game, which I'm very happy about. Um, I come across these every now and again, but usually they're way overpriced, but this time it wasn't. Um, it's five bucks, which is uh, very surprising for Donkey Kong Country 2, <laughs> Diddy Kong's Quest. Um, especially from the person I bought it from, there's a known reseller down at the markets there, and usually they Pack on ridiculous fees to all their prices and that kind of thing, but um, yeah, five bucks, I'm not going to complain about that. Um, and I picked up uh, Point Blank 2, again, it's five dollars. Um, I love the first one for the PlayStation. <laughs> Good, uh, just arcade light gun shooter. So, I'll complete in that. <laughs> so, I pick it up for five bucks, and then one I was really happy to find, uh, especially for so cheap, uh, with no Mario attacks, which is nice, usually. Second, uh, anything has Mario in the name, people want 20 plus dollars for it. Um, so I was very happy to pick up a Super Paper Mario for the Wii. Um, no manual or anything, but um, it was four bucks, so <laughs> yeah, I can't really complain for four bucks for a game that's Still retailing pretty high here in Australia. Not sure about elsewhere, but yeah. And that's pretty much all. Because it's just been uh, pretty dry for games down here lately. So hopefully things will pick up soon, but yeah. I don't know. Alright. Well, that's probably enough for this video before I go rambling on. Alright. See you guys. Bye.